Well, a Scottsbluff County jury has found a rural Scottsbluff woman guilty of exploiting a vulnerable elderly woman by forging names on real estate documents and trying to sell the associated property. 47-year-old Londa Neal stood trial last week on charges of second-degree forgery over $5,000 and attempted theft by taking with value over $5,000. Court documents allege the name and signature of the victim were forged onto a 2021 quitclaim deed that would transfer joint interest in a property on Page Drive to Londa Neal. No sentencing date has been set as of broadcast time, but she could face anywhere from 0 to 20 years in prison when she's sentenced by District Judge Andrea Miller.